Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stasia and I've recently lost 50 pounds eating a whole food plant-based diet. So here's just a few before and after pictures and today's video is going to be a full day of the foods that I've been eating to get this 50 pounds off. All right, so I'm going to be starting off my day with having a fiber protein shake for my breakfast. If you are new to my channel, I have been drinking my homemade protein shakes all during my entire weight loss process and I owe a lot of credit to getting this weight off because of them. So as you can see, the key ingredient in this shake are beans because they're full of fiber and protein, which help to keep you full. So I've designed all of these shakes to be a bit on the calorie dense side. So they are quite literally a meal on the go. So this is my new favorite, favorite, favorite flavor and it is coffee crisp. So if you're a coffee drinker, you are going to love this one. I'm actually not even a true coffee drinker drinker and I'm obsessed with it. My kids love it too. And if you're interested in the recipe, no worries. I will have this posted in my description box below so you can just go down there and check it out. Take a screenshot. A lot of people like doing it that way. So here you'll notice that I'm using decaf because like I mentioned, I'm not a true coffee drinker, but I just enjoy the taste of it from time to time. So I drink decaf because I don't have any caffeine in my diet. But by all means, if you do drink caffeine, then use the caffeinated version. In fact, I'm super excited to share this recipe with you coffee drinkers because a lot of you are always a little bit lost as far as what to do when it comes to coffee creamers. So this is an excellent way to get in a ton of nutrition, keep yourself nice and full, and at the same time, get your little caffeine fix on. So I am sure you're going to love this one. My daughter tasted it, and the first thing she said without even knowing the ingredients that I had used, she said, Mommy, this tastes just like a coffee crisp chocolate bar. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, sweet girl, because that's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, at least what it's supposed to replicate. So this amount here is about the exact amount that I drink when I have my fiber protein shakes, so I'm just throwing this in my new container that I absolutely love. As you can see, it's the perfect size. If you're interested in checking that out, I can have that linked in my description box below, but these fiber protein shakes are truly a game changer when it comes to weight loss. I drank them every single day throughout my entire weight loss, and I'm telling you, I have had so much positive feedback from a lot of you that also jumped on drinking these and also had amazing success in doing so. So if you're also in need of some more fiber protein shake recipes or just whole food plant-based recipes for weight loss in general, then right now all of my weight loss recipe ebooks are on sale for only $5. And that even includes my latest ebook, which is my Zero Overt Fats book. Those were the exact recipes that I was eating to get the first 30 to 40 pounds off and the recipes that I am still eating right now to get the last 25 pounds or so that I still have to go. So if you are also on a health and weight loss journey and you're in need of some more recipes for weight loss, then you can check out those books. The link will be posted in my description box below. All right, so for lunch, I'm going to be keeping it super classic and super simple by just having a soup and sandwich. So this recipe here is my vanilla sweet potato soup. This has been around in my family for so many years. I fed it to my kids when they were little and it's just super stinking easy. I love it. So for those of you who have a copy of my first book, the recipe is definitely in there. Um, but in a nutshell, it's super easy. As you can see, I was just using two medium sweet potatoes. Um, I covered those in water, bring it to a boil, and then here I'm just grabbing a knob of ginger off. You don't want to overdo it with the ginger. I like to just add the smallest amount, especially if it's organic ginger, then you really don't need a lot. So I just mince that up and then throw that in the soup and cook it along with the potatoes. So basically just bring all of that to a boil and then cook it until the potatoes are nice and soft and you can easily pierce it with a fork. And then that's basically when you know that the soup is done. The key with this is that you definitely don't want too much liquid liquid because we are going to be adding more liquid to it. So as you can see, there's not a ton of water in it. And if there is, you can also just dump some out once it's done. Then we're going to go ahead and throw this in a high speed blender. So sorry about the smoky screen there, but that will clear up in just a second. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of vanilla plant-based milk and we're going to let that cool down before we hit the blender. And then that's what it looks like once it's nice and blended up. And as you can see, it is just so, so creamy. And what's so incredible about that is that there's absolutely no overt fats included and to have that type of creamy texture is just incredible. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sandwich together. Now I don't eat a ton of bread or at least I try not to, but when I do, I prefer that brand. There's only one gram of fat in it for two slices 
slices and it's all pretty clean ingredients. So here's just a few more ingredients that I'm gonna be throwing on this sandwich. I personally have been loving sprouts in place of lettuce. And here is just my homemade vegan deli meat. Now, if you haven't seen this video, then I will also have this linked in my description box below, but this is amazing. I am totally obsessed with this deli meat and I use it all the time. Never buy the store-bought stuff and I'm sure you will convert as well. So be sure to check that out. I will have the video in the description box below. So here I'm just building out my sandwich. So I put a ton of sprouts on there, you know, tomato, pickle, onion, my deli slices, some mustard and some nutritional yeast. Oh, and don't forget the hot sauce. That's Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So that's it. So this is an incredible sandwich. And again, it's one of those foods or meals that you know you really just don't miss the fat at all like it just tastes so good and for me personally I do really value having a lot of flavor in my food I know a lot of people you know really don't care one way or the other and they get by just fine eating super bland foods but for me personally I love love still being able to sit down to foods that just you know explode in my mouth with flavor like I really really aim to have that experience when I'm preparing my foods so here is just a beautiful beautiful Beautiful, healthy homemade lunch you know a perfectly healthy sandwich on some healthy bread as well as that soup is one of my absolute favorites and it just happens to be super easy to whip together that soup is incredible for the whole family so if you have little kiddos at home you can definitely try giving this to them my kids loved it as well Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to be having a rice dish. So today I'm going to be making some cilantro lemon rice. Now this can be interchangeable with lime. So if you have lime on hand and not lemon, then by all means you can go ahead and substitute. So I like to switch back and forth between the two and they both turn out amazing. So here I'm just using two cups of rice, you know, went and gave that rice a good old wash. And then I'm adding four cups of water. And again, even with the water, you could substitute that for even broth or do half and half, however you like. And there I was just adding a half of a cup of lemon juice as well as a full loosely packed cup of chopped cilantro as well as one clove of garlic and then some salt if you're watching your salt you can just leave that to the end or not at all so give it a good mix and then I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the stove so basically I just brought it to a boil and then a simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and this is the result this rice has so much flavor I like rice but it's not my favorite starch but when I make it like this I absolutely love it Okay, so here I'm just whipping up some zoodles, which are basically spiraled zucchini. Um, and tonight I'm just super lazy, so I didn't do anything fancy with it. I do love normally having cheesy zoodles, which is also in my newest recipe ebook. That I ate like it was going out of style to get to the first 30, 40 pounds off. But tonight I'm lazy, so I am just having it cooked, you know, with uh, just a little bit of water I used to saute it. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it off with a little bit of nutrition yeast so that's my lazy cheesy version of the zoodles but you know what it works all the same so here is my carrot and herb salad again this recipe can also be found in my newest weight loss recipe ebook the one with zero overt fats this salad slaps oh my gosh meaning in flavor <laughs> it is so so delicious and again kind of another shocking one when you think about it having absolutely no oil because as we all know it's the salads that kind of hurt the most when we remove the fats from them. So I'm also on a personal mission always to find a really delicious tasting salad that has absolutely no fats. And this is one of them. So I also ate the salad all the time and clearly I still do <laughs> to get that weight off. So this is definitely one of my favorites in this house. Okay, you guys, so it is definitely later in the day now and I am feeling quite exhausted, but I'm treating myself to a little snack that I'm gonna enjoy on my balcony because today is quite literally the most perfect day weather-wise. It's just been so beautiful all day. So here is a really simple snack. Actually, my husband was the one who started making this. And then of course, you know, I had a bite or two or 10 and ended up falling in love with it. And now I make it all the time for myself. So it's basically just two apples, 
apples cut up in some apple chunks and uh, and then just a little bit of maple syrup so this is the part that I never really did that step before I would just straight add cinnamon or a little bit of pumpkin spice on it or whatnot um, but by adding that little bit of maple syrup um, I don't know it just adds an extra hint of sweetness especially if the apples are not naturally that sweet unfortunately sad to say a lot of them are not anymore <laughs> so yeah that's all there is to it just add a little bit of uh, maple syrup to taste and that was a little bit of organic cinnamon or the Ceylon organic cinnamon that I added and that is that for the apples and then what I'm going to have with the apples is my new current favorite tea which is the dandelion caramel nut um, this here is one of my other favorite teas I've shown this many times which is the peppermint vanilla but tonight we are going to go ahead and have one of the caramel nut teas this one is amazing if you are also a coffee drinker um, because to me it kind of tastes like a hybrid between a coffee and a tea uh, it's got no caffeine in it whatsoever and it has all healthy ingredients in it so it's actually good for you and tastes delicious so there I just added a little bit of unsweetened vanilla plant-based milk um, and that's it that's all it really requires this tea is amazing too the longer you let it steep the better it tastes I hope you all enjoyed today's video this is a very simple realistic day of eating for me you know it doesn't have to be super complicated but it also doesn't have to be bland or boring either I have lost 50 pounds by removing all overt fats out of my diet and eating foods like the ones I showed you in today's video so again if you're in need of some more oil-free whole food plant-based recipes for weight loss then be sure to check out the link to my books in the description box below I have struggled with my weight all my life until now so when I say if I can do it you can do it I truly mean that thanks so much for watching everyone and we will see you in the next one.